What's up YouTube? It is Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys so much for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. As you can see, we are still green. We've still got our GCI turf type tall fescue lawn kicking. Um, today is actually when I'm filming this. This is March 1st. Um, this is the day that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay out the protein that we talked about previously on the channel. Go check out that video. If you had never heard about protein fertilizer, we did a review. And so I'll be throwing that down today, but today we want to start the video, as I'd mentioned before, about soil test comparisons. So we've got some soil tests over here we're going to compare. We're going to send them both off at the same time and hopefully get our results back and compare and see what the results look like with two different companies. Um, I was going to use three soil tests for this test, but... As you guys know, things are going up, inflation is up, and I've got three soil tests, but I'm gonna save one for later use because times are just tough. Times are, money is tight. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I'm gonna hold on and we'll just do a comparison of two different soil tests. So that's what we're gonna do today. So as I mentioned, I wanna go ahead and collect the dirt and uh, I wanna go over which two tests we're gonna go over. I'm gonna collect the dirt off camera and send it off off camera. And uh, we'll fast forward here in a few seconds. You guys will get to see the results. For me, I'm gonna have to wait obviously a couple weeks to see the results come in and then we'll continue this video. So thank you for tuning in. Subscribe if you're not. Again, I'm just a DIY guy here in Central North Carolina trying to make my lawn look best. And today, part of doing that is soil test and seeing what's in the dirt and what our soil is needing from us as the owner of this lawn. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's look at the soil test we're gonna try out today and compare. So as mentioned, here we are. We've got our two soil tests and we got our probe. Now, as soon as we finish filming this part, we're going to take this soil test probe. If you're totally unfamiliar with how to do a soil test, we're gonna to go to different parts of our lawn. We're gonna shove this bad boy in the ground. We're gonna collect the dirt right here, dump it out into a bag. We're gonna mix all that up, take out the stems, the roots, the grass, uh, get as much clean dirt as we can from all parts of our lawn. We're gonna mix it all together and distribute that same bag of dirt within the two soil tests. So there'll be no difference in collecting two different places for the soil test. It's all gonna be one one dirt, one bag, split up into these two soil tests. So obviously the first one we're gonna do is yard mastery. I'll put the price somewhere to the left here or the right, and you know it's around 39 bucks, 40 bucks. And in this kit, um, when we open it up, this one is, you know, I'm familiar with this one because I've done it before. This is a product, as someone had mentioned a while back, this is a product of um, my soil. So if you're familiar with my soil up here on the top, powered by my soil, there it is. Uh, Yard Mastery is just partnered with them. And so you register your kit right here. They give you an envelope in this one to send off your sample. And then inside you have your cup. When we collect all of that dirt, as we just mentioned, we'll get our cup. We will uh, take that scoop of dirt and we will put it in our, um, our liquid here that we have from Yard Mastery, and that is what we're gonna mail off on our uh, envelope here. So that is that for Yard Mastery, pretty self-explanatory. Now this one I saw online and, de and decided to use a different, different type. Now this one's called Soil Analysis from Lawn Gardens and Landscapes. Here is our sample number, it's called RX Soil. Um, so it came in this package, I got my address on the other side, so I'm not gonna flip it, but basically they want you to reuse this bag here. So we're gonna have to send it back in the bag that it came in. Actually, that is completely incorrect. You do not reuse this bag that it came in. There's actually a return label on the bottom of the box that I just showed you. So I figured that out the hard way, but you put your sample in the box, place the box in your mailbox, put your flag up and they'll come pick it up and ship it right back to RX Soil, easy peasy. So it is a reused bag, but you can just throw that away. When you open it, this is what you see on the inside. Instead of a cup, this one comes with a fill the dotted line. It's got that same number from the top, I'm sure, the same number. So you've got uh, a little more to fill than the cup from Yard Mastery. So this will require a little more dirt. Um, and so we'll fill that up to the line. And, uh, and it says right here, collect your soil, bag your soil, send it which is talking about in the envelope that I just showed you, and then you track it on this website. So little, so all it is in this box is a bag 
and instructions. So uh, it's somewhere around the $34 to $39 uh, price point as well. So these are the two soil tests we're going to test. And the main point of this is, you know, I've questioned in the past. I was like, I don't know, Yard Mastery or my soil, if what you're showing me in my soil test is totally correct. And I could be totally wrong. And I've heard others say, yeah, it may not be correct. They, they can be wonky. So we're just doing a simple test. This is not to prove Yard Mastery sucks. It's not to prove RX soil sucks. It's not to say that one is better than the other. We're simply taking the same amount of dirt. We're sending it to these two different companies and seeing, do we get the same results? Is it similar? Is it way off? Is it close? We'll find out when we get the results. So I'm going to go ahead, as I mentioned, I'm going to get my probe. I'm going to collect my soil from around my yard. I'm going to get that bag. I'm going to distribute it. I'm going to get these in the mail. And the next time you see me, we will have our results and let's go over that. And for you, that happens right now. All right, so welcome back to uh, inside at my computer. We've got our results from our soil test. For you guys, it was a matter of seconds for me. Um, I want to um, compare this. Again, we did yard mastery, and again, I'm making this, you know, about a week or so after sending it off. So I apologize. I don't know what the first clip was because I haven't reviewed it. Uh, lazy Mr. YouTuber here. But we got yard mastery and we got RX soil. The results literally came at the same time. So as far as sending it off, um, I can't remember the exact date, probably should have kept up with that, but it was roughly about five days and I had my results, five, six, seven days, um, roughly five to seven days, we'll say. They were the same time. As soon as I got these, I got the one for Yard Mastery, both online. We're not going to go into all the details. So the timing, um, they were both easy. They both were sent off. They both came back in relatively the same time, the cost the same, no, no issues there. So let's kind of look at you know, what does one soil test say of another? Now, you guys may be familiar with Yard Mastery, so let's look over here more at the RX soil. They have a little bit of a different format here. You can see um, that they tell you, uh, one of the things, our pH is 6.8. They tell me that organic matter is 3.6%. Your level's optimum is five, so we're a little low there, according to them. Um, our capacity to retain nutrients never heard or seen that before. Optimal range is 11 to 16. We're 8.8, .8, so we're low. I don't really know what that means, and they don't really go into any more detail there. Um, when we come over here to our phosphorus, we're 61. Our potassium, they say we're 72. Um, and so, let me see, um, and normal is 89. So, they're saying we're low on this test with our potassium. Calcium, we are um, a little bit low. Um, with our manganese, um, as you guys know, I was crazy high, or excuse me, uh, magnesium. Magnesium, we are optimal. Sulfur, it does say that we are low, and that's interesting because I think uh, we have a difference there. We'll look on the other test. Um, we'll have to compare here. Zinc and everything else. So our manganese were high, and it even says, which just threw me off, it says our iron is 11 to 51 parts per million. We're at 133. It says my iron is through the roof on this test, which I thought was was odd. So there is the graph and it didn't do nitrogen. As you guys know, nitrogen fluctuates. So not bad. Just looking at my soil, not, not a bad soil test. Now, Let's go over to Yard Mastery. Over here, Yard Mastery said that our pH was 6.5 compared to 6.8. That's pretty, pretty close, pretty much the same. So, in far as our two, our two tests, pH is is totally close. The the main things that I found that was um, a different was our sulfur. It said we had 16. Point 16.15 on yard mastery and we're at high we're high on sulfur where over here they said we're at a 13 and their parts per million is 29 to 36 so we were way low on this test so sulfur big difference in the test here same thing with iron over here yard mastery has my iron as low 1.6 to a 4 and 11 scale and we're 1.6 that our our iron is low when we come over here to this test 11 to 51 parts per million we're at 133 they have my iron is super high so for sulfur and for iron, that is the biggest things I'm seeing in the comparison of the soil test. It's, but the iron as well, the iron really throws me off because they're telling me I have way too much iron. Yard Master telling me I don't have enough iron. So that one confuses me. So if any of the grass factor is watching, hey, you guys, uh, you know those dudes over there, comment below. If you have your um, ideas, let me know below. Ultimately, to wrap this up, because I don't want to talk forever, we're, we've got a good pH. We've got a lot of our levels optimal on both tests. 
So overall, you know, our N, P, and K, obviously the nitrogen, um, they say that we're good over here on Yard Mastery. I took this, remember, before putting my protein out is when I took this soil test. I did not want to do it after protein. I did it before we put down fertilizer. So this is what my yard is at going into spring. So not a bad soil test. I, I think I'm, I'm really happy with this. The confusing part is the iron. I don't want to go put down iron because Yard Mastery tells me to. And over here, they're like, dude, you've got way too much iron. I would lean towards maybe it's in the middle. Maybe we're in the optimal zone. We'll take the low and the high and maybe we're somewhere in the middle. I don't know. The rest of it, we're pretty good. Obviously, we don't need any phosphorus and our potassium, we had been putting down potassium, you know, not this uh, way back in the, you know, the early, um, almost a year ago now. And it's saying we're optimal. It says we're a little low over here, over here on the, uh, the yard mastery. It says we're even a little low, but I think we're fine. I don't think we need to add into that anymore. So overall, guys, guys, uh, comparing the two soil tests, pretty similar. There are differences. Again, the results came pretty much the same time in five to seven days, same cost, but we are, there are some things that are different here that make me scratch my head with the sulfur, with the iron, uh, with the uh, manganese and some of these other things. And then obviously uh, they give you recommendations over here. It's recommending stress blend for my yard based off the soil test from Yard Mastery. Um, we went with protein, so we're not going to do stress blend and then liquid it's saying green start microgreen um, so it's recommended more iron with that microgreen but I'm not going to do that as you guys know we're spraying less this year thanks for looking at the soil test here let's uh, let's close out this video real fast so as I do come out here to finish off the video with you guys um, I have absolutely noticed that the protein you know after it's been down about a week we've had some rain and it's been watered in now um, hesitantly we have more poa as you can kind of see in front of this tree over here we've got more poa that is growing but also the green up has been noticeable so it's good and bad i've got to get down here and rake some of these gumballs um, that just are driving me nuts we had a lot of wind the other day today is cold as i mentioned before we had an 80 degree degree day last time we did a video about mowing today we're at 45 degrees so it's just that we're not quite into spring where we're sustaining warm temps but the grass is definitely green greened up from the protein. We got some of that sulfur, we got some of that iron, and we got that 2005 protein down. So the yard is already responding to that feeding and it looks like it's starting to definitely, the nitrogen starting to kick in the growth. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. It's not really the uh, the kind of type of video. My hair is all jacked up. Look, I'm being a bum working from home today. But uh, it's not exactly the type of video I wanted to do today. Um, but as you can see, the soil tests are very similar. We had had some head scratching ones with the Yard Mastery before. Yard Mastery compared to RX Soil, pretty close. Uh, the iron is a little bit different, as we mentioned. The sulfur is a little different. There are some differences in the soil test, but our pH, the main thing that I wanted to find out was where does my pH lie? We're good there. We're on the higher uh, scale or right in the middle between six and seven. So we're fine there. So uh, yeah, so we're doing well. And it's good to know that sending off your pH. You know, we've talked about um, soil tests here a lot, that it's good to know where do I stand? What is in my soil currently? Even if you've already put down fertilizer, just know that, account for that. And when you get it back, you also notice on the uh, yard mastery that they'll tell you different types of urea or ammonical nitrogen i think was uh, if i'm pronouncing it right that's in there so anyways we compare two tests looks pretty similar no major differences besides the iron and the sulfur really so all in all i'm pleased and it, and it gives me confidence that yard mastery and rx soil are trusted tests uh, maybe if inflation goes down we can compare more tests and see if we have any that really just say something completely different but there we have it. We have a soil test comparison, Yard Mastery and RX Soil. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's good to have the soil test in for my benefit of my lawn here. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you've done your soil test. Hope your lawn is coming along as well. As we enter into spring, soil test very important. If not, get out there, order you one, get it done, take it to your local extension if you're uh, lacking the funds, which I can completely understand, as they should be able to do it for you for a very low price or free. God bless you guys. We'll see you on Monday with another video out here in Central North Carolina. Take care. God bless.